The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission had earlier ordered the power distributor to notify customers of outages. It came in the wake of frequent outages with ECG blaming the situation on the pressure on its transformers. PRC in its report found this justification untenable, imposing a fine on ECG's board members. They must pay a total of 5,868,000 Ghana cities. PRC explains the power distributor failed to give the mandatory three-day notice for such outages. Out of 4,142 outages recorded between January and March 2024, 165, representing 3.98% were ECG planned outages. PRC says majority of outages between 7 and 11 p.m. were as a result of load management by Greco and faults unrelated to overloaded transformers. We realized in our analysis that a lot of the time, the data that ECG presented to us, most of the cases were, had nothing to do with the, transform, the transformer overload. So that's why we said that the data that we got from ECG and in our analysis, we realized that um, attributing the power outages to the overloaded transformers was factually inaccurate. It also noted that the company ECG had failed to pay 446.3 million cities to some power sector players under the revenue sharing module. This is to be paid by 30 April 2024 with the commission warning board members will be held liable if this is not done. ECG is also to pay 36,000 CDs to the commission on or before 22nd April 2024 for failure to submit details of all bank accounts. Additional regulatory charge of 3,000 penalty units calculated daily until the date of compliance. According to Dr. Eric Kofi Obute, Director of Research and Corporate Affairs of the PURC, the Commission has taken notice of the ECG's reluctance to produce a load shedding schedule and may take further action in due course. The Commission has actually spoken to ECG and ordered ECG to give a schedule that has not been complied with. So the Commission is taking note of that and subsequent orders may be given by the Commission. That I cannot speak to now unless the Commissioners themselves come out with a specific timetable or a specific need for that particular order. PURC says it expects the board of the ECG to pay the fines.